What's up guys, it's Biggie's Hobbies, and today I'm gonna be doing an oil pump testing, seeing if it's getting flow, I don't know, just like seeing if it works basically, and seeing if I need to buy a new one. I'm gonna, and I'm gonna be priming the fuel pump if, it's, if it works. So right here is the fuel pump, or not the fuel pump, the oil pump, and the shaft feeds into the, the block. And when the engine running, it spins it and it pumps oil into these. And these are, go right here, before the carburetor on the boot. And it squirts oil into the engine so it doesn't fucking blow up. And so this is the feed line from the tank right here. I am getting oil, definitely. I can. I took this one off, and oil was pouring out of it. So oil is definitely going in. Oil is definitely going into the oil pump. I just need to take it apart. I need to. So there's like a throttle thing. So when you pull the throttle, it's engaging the fuel pump, or the not the fuel pump. It's engaging the oil pump and the slides at the same time when you pull the trigger so it gets the right amount of oil so you need to adjust that so when it's at full throttle there's a little line and you need to adjust this little nut these two nuts right here you need to adjust that to get the slack out or set it to the right thing so you're getting the right amount of oil not too much not too little so she runs mint and in the next video I'll be doing a video on this. This is um, this is the fuel pump, vacuum fuel pump, and uh, I'm gonna do a rebuild kit on it instead of buying a new one. New one's like 30, 40 bucks. It costs 10 bucks free shipping for a rebuild kit. Why not just rebuild it? It's a couple gaskets. It's like a cake. It's a three layer, three layer thing, and the vacuum hose. It's this black one. It goes under and then into that thing to the fuel pump all right so i'm gonna get this taken off i'm gonna somehow figure a way how to plug the line so they don't leak everywhere and i will see you guys on the bench but also to mention the other night um i drained the oil out of um the block there's um there's drain bolts on the bottom down here like right here and right here on each cylinder has a different one so they don't they don't connect each one has different oil and it got all every i flushed it with gas just dumped a shit ton of gas just down this thing got it all out and then after that i um flushed some oil through it because i didn't want gas sitting on my bearings or anything i didn't want it to fuck with anything so i just flushed some uh, two-stroke oil down through it and then I just put some at the bottom, cranked them over with my hands, spun them around a little bit. They're all good to go and put this towel back over the top. So don't get no shit inside there, you know? So I'll see you guys on the bench. All right, guys. So I got the oil pump set up for um, this priming test or function test. But so first you're going to, there's this throttle, this throttle cable. The throttle cable is connected to this. There's three different throttle cables. One goes to this, two go to the other carbs. So you need to zip tie this or somehow you need to pull this up to allow full throttle. And then you're gonna wanna run a line to the, the feed line. So from the oil tank, this is the feed line. You need to put a tube right here. Put some oil in it or just put it into this. And then you're gonna need a drill. Yours might be different, but mine has a little, um, little slot so I can use a flathead but you can tape a socket to it you can do whatever but so this is the oil pump this engine spins this it's gonna pump oil from the feed out that way out this way and it if it works it should pulse it go boom 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 like every few seconds it should do that and then up here this is the drain bolt so once you get it all back together how you prime the system is you first 
you, you need to get it running. You can prime the lines just easily by undoing them and going like trying to put it to the lowest point. But if you get it running, just put some premix in it and then unbolt this and bubbles are going to come out. Um, undo the line on this, undo the line on that. Just get all the air out of the system or it's not going to work right. You need to make sure you're getting oil, but I'll set you guys up and we'll see if this is working. That should work. And I'm going in reverse. Let's see if she pumps. Oh yeah, it's working. Both sides are pushing out, pushing it out. I'll try to go slow. But as you guys can see, two puddles of oil. That means they're both working. So I'm gonna get this all back together. I'm gonna make sure to clean this uh, banjo bolt because um, I can't push air through it. You would hear it like how if I blow on this one. I guess this one's clogged too. No, that one's good. Yeah, that one's clogged. This one's clogged. So I need to get that fixed and then I'm going to put everything together, prime the system, and that will be checked off the list. Oil pump is working. Next video is going to be um, the fuel pump. I got a rebuild kit coming this weekend so um, and my pistons are coming this weekend so there's going to be a lot of new videos so look forward to those and subscribe, hit the like button. Shoot me messages in the comments if you um, need any help on um, older Polaris Indies. I've taken about every bolt off this thing already in the past five days. <laughs> crank, to crank race, to head bolts, to jugs, to the flywheel, the clutch, the track shit. So just let me know if you have a problem. I can try and help you figure it out. But if you are testing the oil pump on a old Indy 440 engine. You're gonna need this to get the oil pump off unless you um, have it out of the engine bay. But yeah, she's working, all good to go. I'm gonna pop her back in and yeah, we're gonna send this bitch. All right, so I got the new lines on. They're all working. Pump the system. I'm leaving this line on so it doesn't um, suck air in. But yep, make sure you tighten up your drain bolt, or your drain bolt, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. But yeah, she's working. And I put some new lines on so I can see. What's up, guys? All right, so I got the oil pump out. Um, it bolts on like this to the engine this way. And the bolts that they use are some Phillips bolts. Like that's, it was so hard to reach down there to get it through without, without taking the engine off. You're gonna need one of these or a small screwdriver. This really worked good. Just break some PB and then use this. Um, so these are the boots. Not the boots, this is the, the oil. That's where it shoots the oil out of. So here are the each tubes, banjo bolt. This one, um, they're all clear. I cleaned them already. You can see through them. I blew through them all. They're all nice and clean. You really got to make sure all of these are clean because if you're not getting oil to your engine, it's going to blow up. So for the first couple starts, uh, when I get the new pistons in and everything, I'm going to be um, mixing my gas first, pre-mixing, because I don't want to take the chances of blowing another motor because it's not getting oil. So yeah, I am going to um, get this set up to prime and see if this works, so I'll show you guys that when I'm priming it. I'm gonna tape a socket 
come to the end of this or use a drill with a flat or a flathead, something like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna spin it and see if it's pumping oil. So yeah, I'll show you guys that.